Hey, what's up guys? This is Jerry with the GT Coalition. Today we're going to be checking out another bike in my collection. Uh, today it happens to be my 1996 GT LTS. It was originally spec'd, as you can tell, as a GT LTS 1. Uh, we'll walk through so, a lot of the components kind of from front to back. Um, of course, you know, I have to give a shout out to whoever makes the tires for performance, these uh, Forte brand tires. Uh, these Tisalis are pretty good. Uh, I'm impressed for how cheap they are, but they have really great traction. I like them. Um, you know, and I, I uh, just kind of ahead of time, none of the bikes that I have in my collection are set up tubeless. So uh, there's just a lot of reasons why, and um, you know, I'd love to go into it, but that'd be like an, a half hour segment. But anyway, yeah, these are the these are 26 by 2.2. Performance sells these tires for roughly about I think on a good sale like uh, 15 bucks each um, You know sidewall is kind of soft, but I mean for stuff I'm doing I'm not going through rocky terrain and uh, they've held up pretty well uh, another cool thing is um, I run the rock shocks XC 28 fork and, and it's a hundred mil um, it's raised the bike a little bit and some people uh, aren't necessarily a fan of that and the reason is is just because I run I've had rebuilt Judy's I've had rebuilt many rebuilt type of forks and uh, they just really don't compare like especially the Judy ride that runs an 80 because on here you get a nice lockout that actually works it's not gimmicky your preload is right here and uh, you know your rebound adjustment is at the bottom so and it's not gimmicky it actually works I'm impressed so when I sourced out the parts for this build, um, I got this frame originally um, off eBay for 150 bucks, and uh, then with shipping and all and parts considered, I think I got this bike built for under right under like 500 bucks. So uh, we'll just walk through it. Um, as you can tell, uh, like I'm always a race face fan. I love their grips. I love the half Nelsons. You'll see them on practically a lot of my bikes uh, that I own. Um, other things are, you know, I run a core stem, or I mean a core handlebar, and usually my handlebar width I prefer is like in the 720 range. I think my sanction is the only exception to the rule where it's much wider. I run XTR, old vintage XTR shifters. It's a two by nine setup. This is a three speed shifter. And down here, it runs a two by, and that's a three-speed shifter and it's just having the adjust the limiter screws adjusted here so that way you know you kind of lock out and um, you don't have to you're not overthrowing your you're you're not throwing your chain off the chain ring or anything like that for a crank set um, I didn't want to go with a one by just because as you can tell on my cassette um, it, you know it, it's a sub 40 tooth cassette so for climbing um, in case I just wanted to have a granny gear up front and uh, that's that's been doing pretty well this is a 32 tooth with a bash guard and I've nicked some things so it comes in handy uh, other stuff that you can tell on this bike which is neat uh, is I run as you can tell here where my feet where I'm pointing and even here these are the BET uh, needle bearings uh, that are really worth the money they're pricey um, gold tech sells them but they're really good, you know, you don't have to deal with the squeaking that's synonymous for with the original kind of cone pivots that you deal with on the LTS bike. So uh, with these, they really, it silences it out. The ride is much smoother. And speaking of a smoother ride, um, this is a Rissi Genesis damper. Um, compared to the Genesis, which I previously had on this bike, uh, this one, is a little bit, you know, you can see the there's a little bit of a ride quality improvement. Um, this is a lever here for it, as you can tell. Um, you just flick it and it'll change out and you can set, set it for more firm. There's no lockout, so you just have to be aware of that. Um, but, you know, your max PSI is usually in the 200 pounds, a 200 pound range, but it, it's a good shock. Uh, Kevin Rissy at Rissy Racing will when you order a rear shock from him, you know, he cust they custom tune it specifically for your weight and riding style. Me, I like to ride a lot more aggressive, so this one's a little more firm, so it doesn't bottom out on me. Um, other things that I've done is, uh, actually, believe it or not, 
These are Shimano Olivia V brakes, brand new. Um, they're pretty inexpensive, but they, they work really well. They're, uh, they feel very good, and, it's, uh, and if you run them with the cool stop pads and some nice Avid levers, uh, you know, you get a pretty good bike that, you know, perform or the uh, brakes pretty well. So, uh, yeah, that's, it's pretty nice. Um, also, I wanted to say the reason I went with a new fork, especially with the XC28, uh, which I think is discontinued by SRAM, is, you know, I still get uh, disc brake compatibility and rim brake compatibility. As you can tell with newer forks, you know, it's hard to find a good quality or even nice looking fork that has rim brake, um, that has some rim brake compatibility to it. Also, you can tell in a lot of my bikes, uh, as I run the Vuelta Zero Lights, and you can find them at Bike Nash Bar um, for, I think, ballpark uh, $90 on a good sale. You can get these this wheel set on this bike for roughly, I think, um, the best price I've ever gotten is like 60 So, uh, one thing you just have to kind of keep in mind with these wheels is... Uh, Definitely test them, hold them by the axles, give it a spin because I've had to repack and re you know repack these hubs with grease because they only put a back in it like a few years ago they only put like a light schmear on them like a light film and it, you know it just uh, wasn't all that great. Um, you could feel that they were still rough, so if you're co comfortable enough, do them yourself. You know repack your hubs. Otherwise, you know have a shop do it. it it's got to be it can't be too much because this is just an old school thing you just need your cup and cone wrenches and a magnetic dish for your ball bearings and some part grease things like that and uh, you should be fine uh up here um i just run a basic it's a colloy c post it, it, it's pretty inexpensive with like a four dollar quick release which i'm starting to regret because it's i have to actually pry this open at times with a screwdriver because if it's not tight enough then it doesn't even open but um you know, that's kind of wraps it. This, I actually found at Performance Bike. Back in the day, Performance Bike would sell these, you know, GT bikes. And uh, sometimes people didn't like the saddles. They'd want to buy one in the store. And then they'd put these guys on clearance. So you, I'd find some of these on the clearance bin. I bought one. I bought a few, actually. And uh, not, a, you know, the orange trim. Some are different colors. And that's worked well. Uh, and the other thing is... Uh, I also use flat pedals. I'm not a clipless guy. Um, it's just a trial thing. I just, uh, I'm just so used to not having clipless pedals. And uh, here, these are another performance brand, like the Forte, the you know performance in store brand uh, flat pedal. You know they're nylon. Um, I haven't had issues with them given the kind of riding that you do. I put in some decent mileage. And uh, the other thing is uh, for headsets, I just, I ran a Crest King, you know, it's an LTS, right? And it's like the polished slash ball burnished kind of bikes that are beautiful. So for me, and that's not a crack, I had that checked out. Um, you know, for me, I just love to get a Crest King headset. If you're going to have a beautiful bike like this set, I think coming up um, for this bike in the future is I'll end up you know just changing these out I, the plastic things you know you change out their grips and then they're worn out so some bar end plugs are coming for it uh you know it's got this vintage oh i should say the xtr shifter set i got lucky on some somebody had the group set for sale nobody wanted to buy it um at auction so i managed to get that for i think 50 50 or 75 dollars and and they're in really good shape so uh, anyway, I'm um, stay tuned. I'm actually going to tour this place here. It's called Colonnade. We're not going to go too far just because uh, there's some homeless encampments here. Just don't want to disturb it, cause a ruckus. Uh, but we will tour at least the north side of Colonnade Park and go from there. So stay tuned. Anyway, this is my wonderful GTLTS one bike, one of my favorite bikes uh, that I do own in my collection, uh, and. You know, I think even by today's standard, it, it rides pretty well. Um, the only thing is it does this brake jack, so when you hit the brake, this thing kind of expands out, like the rear wheel and the front, and the, the front wheel kind of expand in wheelbase distance when you're braking on steep stuff, especially. So, uh, the way you can remedy that, actually, is if you had a disc brake mount, this is a 96, and the reason 
as you can tell I don't have any tabs for it on either side and I don't feel like welding one on and uh, also beware if any of you are gonna buy a GTLTS just keep be aware of this uh, the rear swing arms many are different over time like the 95s can't fit a v-brake the brake bosses are per are pushed a little bit pointed up so the v-brake arms will actually hit this um, and you can't even well actually yeah they, they won't even clear this at all so you know just kind of be aware if you're gonna be uh, getting an LTS kind of know what the rear setup is like if you're not familiar that way you can kind of know where to source your parts things like that but if you folks have any questions about my GT LTS 1, or I mean my GT LTS, sorry, it was specced as a 1, but it's not obviously anymore. But uh, drop some comments in the, in, the co in the comments box below. Ask me any questions. I'll always be happy to get back to you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope um, you guys enjoy the content. Stay tuned. I'll have more. Thanks. Bye.